it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to, to episodes 7 and 8 of a Kevy John Sailor uniforms. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 in 3, 2, 1, go. It is now weird to think that we're already now on se episode 7, and we are very close to being done with this show. Damn, that's a nice playing right there. <laughs> oh. But you like music, right? <laughs> oh 
You poor baby, because you can't read music. <laughs> her eyes glitter like what's her face from Hayoka. <laughs> Yeah, you really just dug yourself a hole. Oh, you know what, babe? It, it took me a very long time to read sheet music. And as someone who did chorus since elementary, like, but really didn't go into reading sheet music until middle school. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, it's more acoustic -y, you know? And it might fit you as much as you want to play electric. Aw, <laughs> oh, shit. This might take, you know, favorite episode spot. <laughs> piano Poor baby. Yeah, you did get a job. Yeah, you probably felt it like deep in your diaphragm, right?
It is. Don't say that. She played a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you don't want to keep her waiting. But that's okay. It's fine being a newbie. It's never too late. Exactly. You're not going to match for something overnight. It takes time. You know, you can always bring your guitar to school and ask the K-On group to help you. Look at the fact that they're all still trying and they're not giving up. Yeah, they're not the greatest at it, but they're still going. See? <sighs> when you keep practicing, it helps and it shows. Mm -hmm. Hell, I used to be like that too.
coming to you. Mm -hmm. Are you going to take it today? Just like Ote and Kitsumi from season one all over again. No, don't be sorry. Go on.
All right, so if I had to say, this, still, six is still number one. I would say this is also number one as well. So these two, episode six and episode seven, are currently tied for first place for best episodes because, oh, to have an episode kind of like a K-On episode or a Bundity episode or any other type of musical genre-esque show was really sweet. I liked it a lot. Oh, my God. But yeah, like, you, you didn't have to do that. You really didn't have to give me feels to my other two fave animes. But you did. You did, and I'm okay with that. But, like, oh, that was so good. I loved seeing a Gabby and her sister doing yoga or stretches together. That was so fucking cute. I'm sorry. And to end the episode with them doing that again. Cute babies. Like, oh, my God. You know, the one thing that I like about a Gabby is no matter who she meets in whatever episode we're in, she always makes that person, like, want to do better and be better. So I think that's why she's such a really interesting protagonist and such. Um, because not only she's bettering all these other people, she's also bettering herself at the same time, too. So I feel like possibly the final episode, it'll be focused on everybody all at once but still her at the same time i mean but seriously this was a very interesting episode and the fact is that the lesson of this week's was you know even if you are not the best at it if you are still a newbie at it continuously keep trying do not give up on what you want to do in life and your goals and accomplishing your dreams and everything because one day you will be successful you just have to go through the hardships of everything, of every other thing before you get to the glory and everything. And so, I mean, that happens to all of us with whatever we're in. We're in jobs that, you know, hey, we don't really like. And some of those jobs are just the stepping stone of that road that we're taking to get to that one dream or career that we just want in our lives. And we're doing everything and everything in our powers to get it. You know, you have to do and take jobs that you don't really want, but it helps you and prepares you for what it's going to be like when you finally get the career of your dreams or anything that you finally accomplished and set out and you're just, you're happy. You are in such bliss. And I think that's what it was like for her when she played for a cubby and she's like, you know what? I'm good. I'm not the greatest, but I'm good. And I'm going to be even better for her the next time that I'm going to play for her. And so I was just like, mm-hmm claps all around 10 out of 10 would recommend but go ahead and pause the video and i will see you guys in one second for episode eight Alrighty, episode eight in three two one go okay it's a hotaru time is it precious baby hotaru's time Nope, it's not, because she's standing in the background. Mm-hmm. 
Probably not in the greatest place. But it's going to be swimming, right? I mean, yeah. What's up? <laughs> of course, is the reason why we're having the swimming competition.
No. have a problem. <laughs> you got this baby. Mm-hmm. So she got this. I hope. Holy.
damn it. And that makes another one.
Put the zipper. There you go. Corners. <laughs> Come on, you gotta go. You look beautiful. Oh, well, damn. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> How many? I mean, her sailor uniform for the summertime is really cute. I mean, I do like her original because the blue ribbon, that was, like, the most, like, eye-catching thing about it. And, I mean, yes, the red ribbon is very cute. It just reminds me of, like, every other type of sailor uniform that I've seen, hence, like, Sailor Moon in a nutshell. Um, but it's still cute. Like, oh... <laughs> But I hope What's Her Face can be good at, like, her studies and pass her makeup exam so that they can practice swimming some more. Because we are getting down to the nitty gritty. It is now 12.33 and I have two more hours left with this show before I'm completely done, have my final thoughts, and officially finish this show. And then after that, it is editing time. Hell, I'm probably going to go to sleep because I'm getting sleepy anyway. I don't know yet. But this was a really sweet episode. I thought it was very nice. I mean, this swimming competition was interesting. I really thought, you know, Akabi would have won because she is a very good, fast swimmer. But to see that she was so close yet so far, I mean, it's like that. Just once again, it's just always about practice, 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 practice. And then you get it. Practice makes perfect. Let's thank God she ain't rip it. Well, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You'll 
look so beautiful. You just stay yourself. There you go. Beautiful baby. That's how you end an episode. That's how you end an episode. Oh my god, baby girl is so fucking precious. I love her so much. Just once again, the fact that Kyle is played by freaking so, she's named by so many. I know her by so many different anime characters, but the, the always, no matter what, the number one who I can always think of is Nina from Idol Master. So anytime when I hear her using that typical normal voice for her little kid characters, like, I cannot. So, I mean, because we all know how I was during the episode of My Dress of Darling where it was the hotel episode, and I heard her because I was not expecting her um, to voice that character. I was really expecting, like, so many other characters. And so when I heard her voice, like, yeah, I had the biggest, like, fangirl moment because normally, like, any other anime that I had seen with her in it, besides, like, March Comes in Like a Lion, um, Seven Deadly Sins when I was still watching that show, and Idol Master, like, the last show that I heard her where she played kind of, like, a serious, sad character or such was, of course, um, Tama and We Cross, um, What's her face in the uh the series that both her and um who the uh freaking uh, oh my god what is her name kind of um kind of yeah kind of who plays their mom in the series where they played um Happy Sugar Life there we go where she played the love interest to What's her face or even um the one series where she's like only in one episode um I had watched this with my ex boyfriend. <laughs> Um, it's about a girl who, she has white hair. I think, I think it was Precious Memories or something like that. It's some, pl Plastic Memories, there we go, that series. And she's in the first episode, and so unfortunately she dies in the first episode as well because of reasons. And so hearing her in this episode as a one-off one character, like, and seeing that character also perish in the same episode was really heartbreaking for me. And now, like, she's in so many different things. Like, how she's in one of the shows. She's in 86. And I didn't know she was in 86 until about the time when I was watching that episode of Dress Up Darling and freaking out over her being in that show. And how one of my subs was like, oh, hey, she's going to be in this show. And I was like, oh. Well, good thing I'm watching the show, and, and then everybody freaked out that I because I was watching '86, and it's so funny. So, a couple of weeks later, almost like a month later, and everybody's like, "Oh my God, Deja, thank you finally!" And I'm like, "Yeah, you're welcome." <laughs> but yes, ending it on best baby sister, like, oh, that's a good way to end the episode, in my opinion. Like, mwah, best fucking decision. But yes, this episode was really good. Like I said, the swimming competition was very interesting. Um. It makes you wonder that if a cabbie had won, what uh, Rini had to do, like, you know, what were the wishes that a cabbie was going to have her do? I think it probably would have been a little funny and hilarious, but it's still a little, like, off-putting and maybe crazy because you never know what a cabbie would be, like, thinking in her little cute brain of her. <laughs> But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 7 and 8 of A Kebby Chan Save the Uniform. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchroom Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next time for episodes 9 and 10. Bye, guys.